Yeah, from 9 on, he's in the industrial area. Industrial area. Looks like he's on a pavement. Stand by. Hello, motherfucker. Hello, people and sheeple. Panaki news. What can I say? John Hales again. Sending me letters. Well, he sent me the normal letters, just telling me that I owe him money, but I don't. Then he tried the uh, gangster approach and tried threatening me. And okay, so what's the, uh, what's the actual threat? Well, it's, he's, first of all, he's telling me I'm breaking the law if right. if I watch TV at this address, which I'm not. And also in the letter, it says I can't make this problem go away by ignoring it, and it's going to get worse for me if I do. And but but I can make the problem go away if I if I contact him and repay him money that I owe him, but I don't owe him anything. So who sent you this letter? Uh. It's from John Hales. John Hales? Yes. And did you know John Hales yourself? I don't know him personally, no. Okay. And, he, and he, according to the um, Malicious Communications Act, mm -hmm. it says that's an act to make provisions for punishment of persons who send or deliver letters or other articles for the purposes of causing distress or anxiety. Okay. And so, his see, letters... We, so, just let me finish. What was your first name, sorry? Money, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's asking to me to... It, to make your life easier. So yeah. we wouldn't be doing this under malicious communications. We would be doing this under blackmail. Okay. Because malicious communications is threats to cause, like you just with intent to cause distress, alarm, alarm and distress and things like that. But it's sort of more threats of violence, threats of other things and stuff like that. With this sort of threat. They are, they are demanding a payment or something in return or something, so it would be blackmail rather than malicious communications, OK? Oh, is it still a crime, then? It's still a crime, but okay. like I said, it's not going to be under malicious communications, OK? OK. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up the crime report, we'll take some more details, and I'll go into a bit more details about what's actually happened and stuff, OK? OK. So I contacted the police, as you know. Then they sent the pussy round. I'll leave a link in the description for that one. Hi there, sorry about the noise. Who are you? Hi there, no problem. Nothing to happen. My name's Darren. I'm from TV Licensing. Yeah, not interested, mate. Okay. See ya. Bye. The pussy goon, who was a bit scared, he left pretty quick. Then a couple of weeks ago they uh, sent a bigger one round. But I won in unfortunately, so I missed that one. This is what the TV goon posted through my door. 
license expired please call no you're alright mate please do not ignore well I will be and uh, let's have a look my record show your property has no TV license oh no don't need one you not reply to letters Official investigation into why your address doesn't have a TV license. So, anyway, junk mail basically. So now John Hales has sent me another letter just informing me that I'm under investigation now. You know, despite their recent attempts to contact me, my property remains unlicensed, and so it should be because I don't need one. What happens if you don't take action? Their enforcement officers have been authorised to visit my address. Well, they've done so already a couple of times now. But don't be scared of that, anyone who's watching this video. You don't have to let them in, they're just salesmen. Um, but they didn't tell me I was breaking the law this time, like they did in the last letter. This, this one says, um, I'm committing an offence. If you watch or record live, important word that, live, TV programmes on any channel or device or download or watch BBC programmes on the iPlayer uh, without being covered by a licence. Well, as we all know, if you don't do any of that you don't need to pay them £154.50 for a licence. It also states it on the back of this letter as well. So if you, if you get these letters and you don't want to buy a TV licence because you don't watch live TV anymore Make sure you read them. You can contact them if you want to. I choose not to. That's my choice. You don't have to. Uh, to inform them that you don't need a TV licence. I, I can do that if I want to, but I don't want to. So it says on here, what if I, what if I don't need a licence? Uh, we'd like to stop writing to you if, if you don't have to. You don't need a, if you don't need a licence. Uh, you don't need a license if you a never watch or record programs as they're being shown on TV or live on any online TV service and b never download or watch BBC programs on demand including catch up TV on the BBC iPlayer. Now that's catch up TV only on the BBC iPlayer. I watch catch up TV legally without a TV license using all the other catch-up services ITV Hub, All4, My5, UK TV Play, all those that you don't need a license if you just watch those and not the BBC iPlayer catch-up service. This could be on any device including a TV, desktop computer, laptop, mobile phone, tablet, games console, digital box or DVD VHS recorder Please tell us if you don't need a licence by going to blah 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 no TV or calling the number over the page. So it's just more harassment and I'm looking into harassment laws at the moment so I might be making a phone call soon to Trading Standards about being harassed by a corporation. It won't go nowhere as we all know but I'll just do it just for fun anyway. Put that camera down, or we will tase you.